Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate the commemoration of all the deceased of the seraphic order. And we might ask ourselves, what's the point of this celebration since we just celebrated yesterday the commemoration of all souls? Well, as St. Paul says, we are to do good unto all men, but especially to those of the household of the faith. That is, we are to exercise charity towards all men, but especially those who are members of the church. That's specifically what St. Paul is talking about. That is, those who are closest to us, either by blood or, in this case, by spiritual ties, the members of the church. When our Lord says that we are to love our neighbors as ourselves, there's nobody who is more our neighbor than the members of our family. And in the case of religious, the members of our spiritual family, the members of the seraphic order. And so we have a day, a special day set aside for remembering the departed members of the seraphic order, this act of charity, of kindness, uh, to offer our prayers and sacrifices, the Holy Mass, for their release from purgatory, to uh, either to decrease the intensity or the duration of their purifications which they are enduring. Father Angelo had mentioned yesterday that the religious are held to a higher account before our Lord. As our Lord, or the Gospel says, those who have been given much, much will be required. Father Angelo gave the example of Saint Claude de la Combier, who had gone to purgatory specifically for reciting his breviary hastily and not with the due attention, reverence, and devotion. And this is the case for all of us religious. Those who have been given much, much will be required. And we can say that religious, not only have we been given much, but we've been given the most. St. Maximilian Kolbe says that God cannot confer a greater grace on the soul than the vocation to the religious life. And since we have been given so much, the long hours of prayer frequent reception of the sacraments, the good example of the brothers, the constant reminders to grow in holiness, much will be required of us. And so we need to cooperate uh, generously with our vocation. And so today we remember all those members who have gone before us who perhaps failed in perfect observance of the rule, the rule that comes down from our seraphic father, and thus need to be purified in the fires of purgatory. And we offer this Mass for their quick release into heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.